Life is short. Life is full of mysteries. You never know what's gonna happen. You just gotta enjoy life, appreciate all the beautiful moments, from the past to the present to the future. It's a mystery that we will never understand. What's up, YouTube? This is Manny once again with another video, and today's gonna be also another different video than what I normally do. Um, I'm going for a lot right now, and I normally don't share stuff like this, but I have viewers that's been with me for a long time, so I think they would know a little bit about me, my relationship status, and about my past, so it's good to share and update them what's happening now. So for those who don't know, I was married to a beautiful Filipina. Her name is Mary Joy Carboneta Perez. She used my last name, Perez. And she made me really, she made me feel really special. And she was like the woman of my dreams. Then unfortunately, she had a bad tragic recently. Uh, she was in a motorcycle and suffered an accident. So I guess God needed an angel and the angel decided to go up there to the sky. So now she don't suffer anymore. She just enjoy up there and from heaven, she's watching me. She's watching her family and protecting me. So uh, that's how I take it right now. Even though it's really hard and it hurt me a lot that she's gone and I miss her because I had a lot of beautiful, beautiful plans for her. I was planning on bringing her here to the United States, but it's not gonna happen. But I guess God had better plans for her. So like I say, life is short. You never know what's gonna happen. You just gotta live your life to the fullest. So I'm gonna share a little bit about how did I met her. I used to be in a page on Facebook called Mitz Nation, which is a page for people who are mixed race like myself. So there was this guy who was pretty much the same nationality as me. He posted a picture of himself and he said he was Puerto Rican from the father's side and black from the mother's side, which is pretty much the same case as mine. So I went through the comment, ses through the comment section and I posted a picture of myself and explaining I'm also the same nationality. So I was getting a lot of likes, a lot of comments. So I decided, I decided to scroll through the likes and a lot of girls, you know, they gave it a like and out of all of them, this beautiful lady, Mary Joy Carbonetta, caught my attention. And it's weird because I never send friend requests on Facebook to people who I don't know, but I send her a friend request and she never accepts a friend request from strangers, but she accepted mine somehow. So yeah, once she accepted, I started checking out all her pictures and clicking like. Then she sent me a message like, hello, how are you? So we started, you know, we started um, talking little by little. Then she asked if I had a Skype. I said, yes, I had a Skype. So we exchanged Skypes and we started Skyping and there was like a connection right there. Like, I was a little scared because she was all the way in the Philippines and I didn't know how this long distance was going to work. But I, like, we just felt that connection really quick and I thought we should, we should have gave it a chance. So it was just getting deeper and deeper and I started planning my trip to the Philippines to go meet her. And it was pretty special, like I got to do a lot of things, I met her family, she got a really beautiful family, her daughter, her sisters, her dad, everybody. And I got to meet also the Philippines, beautiful country, I love the Philippines and I'm always going to keep visiting there, that's a special place in my heart. And I'm wearing a Philippines shirt, not sure if you guys can see it, but yeah. Filipinas um, and yeah it's a beautiful country and it made me interested and I started going on YouTube finding videos about Philippines and I met I got to know about a lot of bloggers that are in the Philippines and it motivated me to start doing my own blogs and I do have blogs when I went there so yeah see not only I met her her family I met a beautiful country too so we had a lot of beautiful moments and of course, like any relationship, we had our ups and downs, but that's pretty normal since we're both grown-ups. The communication, it helps out a lot. And we Skype almost every day, we text message every day. Then on my second visit, I went back there and it was my beautiful wedding. It was a nice wedding there, a simple, a small simple wedding, but it was pretty big, you know. A lot of people went there, good food and it was like a dream, that same day it was my 30th birthday too. It was pretty, pretty special. And I know she was happy. So one thing I could see about this, even though it's sad, but 
one thing that can make me a little bit satisfied is that I know by the time she was alive, I helped her out a lot. I tried to make her as happy as possible, and I made one of her dreams come true, which was her to marry the man of her dreams, which was me. So I know at least she went to heaven in peace. I really wish she was right here next to me, but I know she's watching me, and she's watching when I'm doing this video up there in the skies. And someday I'm gonna be re reunited with her up there in heaven. I just don't know when. I, I want to live for a long life, but you never know when it's gonna happen. So we were having that beautiful time, and then recently it was in a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. I wasn't getting any message from her. Then I got a message from one of her sisters that she suffered a really bad accident, and she saw me the pictures. And it was it was really bad. So she was in conscious in the hospital for about three days. I mean, yeah, like three days, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then the bad news is, um, in a Wednesday, September 20, she didn't make it. She was suffering too much. She fight for her life, but yeah, I guess God needed her. It was time for her to go up in the sky, leave the earth, and start a new life in heaven. Even though she had a good life here, I know she has a way better life up there. She's not suffering no more. She's smiling with the angels, and I guess she get to reunite with her mom up there. Her mom passed away when she was one year old, but now they're up there smiling and having a beautiful life. So, pretty rough, and it's beautiful at the same time. So I wanna, I do this video because I'm trying to do a tribute to her, and there could be also a few ways that I would like to do a tribute like maybe do things for the Philippines, maybe some vlogs, some food, maybe in tribute to her, I would like to, it's gonna be hard, but maybe I can make it possible and try to learn at least Tagalog, any language of the Philippines. I could try to do that because I love her and I know I have the Philippines in my heart. I respect that country a lot as much as I respect her and her family. So one thing I wanna say is that Mary Joy Carbonera Paris, thank you for being part of my life. I really had a good time with you. It was fun, it was beautiful, beautiful moments. The best moments of my life I had with you. I know you're up there in heaven having a good life, but I love you with all my heart. And rest in peace, babe. You are always in my heart. You are always in my heart, and I love you forever.